A series of solar explosions is creating breathtaking auroras borealis and australis around the entire planet. The last time a phenomenon of this magnitude struck the Earth was in October 2003, that is, 21 years ago. Despite its beauty, the phenomenon can cause significant impacts on human communication with damage to satellites, power grids, and internet services. How are auroras formed? What causes these solar storms? What are the impacts of solar activity on humanity? Earth Echoes travels to the space station to document yet another incredible manifestation of the cosmos. During this journey, we will witness the most amazing and colorful auroras ever recorded in various parts of the world. The month of May 2024 will be remembered by millions of people around the world. This comes after several countries from north to south recorded the most incredible auroras borealis and australis of the last 20 years. Auroras are visual phenomena that impress with the variety of colors and shapes that seem to dance in the night sky. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of the United States, the phenomena were caused by a series of eruptions on the sun. On May 10th, scientists observed seven coronal mass ejections and issued a severe solar storm alert. The result was the visualization of spectacular auroras spread across the United States, Canada, Portugal, Australia, New Zealand, and England. The rare phenomenon also impacted countries in South America with impressive records in Uruguay, Chile, Argentina, and southern Brazil. Space weather forecasters emphasize that the geomagnetic storm is considered the most powerful in two decades. But why is this happening right now? What causes these explosions on the sun? This is the first time since January 2005 that NOAA has issued a severe geomagnetic storm warning. The alert is also known as G4, the second highest level on a scale that goes up to G5, or extreme. Every 11 years, the sun goes through three phases, solar minimum, solar maximum, and decline, until the beginning of the next cycle. Currently, we are in cycle 25 since the start of the official count, first recorded in 1755. A recent NOAA report predicted that solar maximum would begin in 2025. However, recent episodes show that the sun is already at its peak. During the period preceding solar maximum, an increase in sunspots can be observed. Sunspots are dark spots on the surface of the sun, originating from magnetic fields around the star. Sometimes these spots can release large coronal mass ejections into space. These ejections are caused by plasma explosions and magnetic fields launched towards Earth through geomagnetic storms. Scientists have been monitoring a massive sunspot named AR36664 for years. In May, this spot grew and unleashed several intense eruptions, producing large coronal mass ejections. It was precisely this large cloud of solar particles that traveled at high speed through space, hitting our planet head on. Auroras occur when charged particles from the solar wind interact with Earth's atmosphere. The solar wind is the flow of charged particles of protons and electrons emitted by the sun during storms. Most of these particles are deflected by Earth's magnetic field, which acts as a protective shield. However, some of this energy still manages to penetrate the planet's poles, and that's where the magic happens. Once in the atmosphere, these particles interact with gases such as oxygen and nitrogen. The energy released from this interaction results in the production of colorful and vibrant lights, known as auroras. Boreal auroras, also called northern lights, are a phenomenon that occurs in the northern polar region, namely in the Arctic. This is the best place to see an aurora, as the tilt of the Earth's axis favors the northern hemisphere in this phenomenon. On the other hand, the Austral aurora is rarer and occurs in the southern hemisphere, in the Antarctic Circle. From the Earth's surface, 
auroras are visible in the form of fluorescent lights in shades of green, red, purple, and yellow. The composition of the atmosphere plays a crucial role in the appearance of celestial phenomena. Atmospheric gases not only influence their intensity, but also dictate the colors that grace the sky during these dazzling displays. Oxygen can produce green and red lights, while nitrogen typically yields blue and purple lights. The outcome is a vibrant display of colorful waves, manifesting as curtains, bands, and arcs, seemingly dancing across the night sky, creating a true spectacle. The main destinations for aurora hunters are Norway, Iceland, Finland, Sweden, and Greenland. However, the last event flooded social media with thousands of records of the largest appearance of auroras in modern history. The phenomenon can be observed in the US, Canada, Europe, and Australasia, encompassing Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea, and parts of Indonesia. In the South, Argentines and Chileans also celebrated the rare opportunity to observe the phenomenon, which hadn't occurred at this intensity for 21 years. In 2003, several plasma explosions from the solar corona caused blackouts in Sweden and damage to the energy infrastructure in South Africa. Despite the beauty of auroras, solar storms can disrupt Earth's magnetic field, affecting satellites, radars, and power grids. The magnetic fields associated with geomagnetic storms induce currents in long conductors, which can cause blackouts. There can also be impacts on high-frequency radio communication, GPS, spacecraft, and satellites. The phenomenon can even affect pigeons and other migratory animal species, which navigate using internal biological compasses. In the face of the risk, authorities have called for precautionary measures from satellite operators airlines, and those responsible for power grids. The Biden administration asserts that it is monitoring the possibility of impacts on various systems in the United States. The Federal Aviation Administration of the U.S. guarantees that it does not foresee any significant impact on the country's airspace system. Billionaire Elon Musk, who owns around 5,000 Starlink satellites in orbit, described the solar storm as the largest in a long time. According to the executive, the satellites are under a lot of pressure, but are currently handling all the energy load. The largest solar event ever observed directly occurred in 1859 and is known as the Carrington event. Newspaper publications of the time report that polar auroras were seen worldwide from the Northern Hemisphere to the Caribbean. The brightness was so intense that miners woke up to work and birds started singing believing that the auroras were the sunrise. In addition to temporal disorientation, the storm also affected the communication system of the time, causing estimated impacts of $10 billion. Telegraphs throughout Europe and North America malfunctioned, were damaged, or caused small fires in telegraph stations. The energy in the air was so great that telegraph systems continued to send messages even after being disconnected from power sources. However, today, the same power of the phenomenon would cause unimaginable effects since the world is at a level of super technological dependence. Experts warn that extreme solar storms can also cause long interruptions in internet services. Recovering these technologies could take weeks or months causing billions in losses. Therefore, scientists closely monitor Solar Cycle 25 and do not rule out the possibility of a super solar storm at any moment. Currently, companies are developing capacitors to absorb and dissipate excess absorbed energy. Devices like Faraday cages can surround important equipment, protecting them from geomagnetic shocks on another front, researchers are working to understand the behavior of the sun and predict new storms in advance. The year 2024 promises to bring more discoveries about the king of the solar system, one of the main contributors to life on the planet. Earth Echoes will continue to keep an eye on the sun following the incredible movements of the cosmos. 
If you were one of the lucky ones to witness the greatest spectacle of auroras in decades, share your experience in the comments. Don't forget to like and share the content. See you in the next storm.